Hey, welcome to Secret Lab Reports. Today, we'll be discussing the physics behind lift and aerofoils. To the secret lab! Humans have been able to fly for over a hundred years, and much has changed about our understanding of how flight works during that time. First, let's talk about an old theory that didn't survive the test of time. And then, we'll discuss aerofoils and the physics behind them. The equal transit time theory of lift makes some false assumptions about airflow. It surmises that the airflow on the top and bottom of the wing must rejoin at the tip. According to the theory, it's the distance the air traveled across the surface of the wing that generates the lift. A quick look at this profile drag image in a wind chamber with an aerofoil easily disproves this theory. Aerofoils are found on the wings of airplanes and the propellers of helicopters. They're designed to move the air around them. While in motion, aerofoils generate more lift than drag as compared to other objects or a flat plane. They do this by exerting downward force as the air flows by. You see the air? It's blown by. The flow changes direction when it passes the aerofoil. This change in flow direction creates an equal downward force applied to the air under the aerofoil. This deals with Newton's third law that states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. There's another effect that pulls the aerofoil towards the airflow, pulling in more air towards it, best described by part of the Bernoulli principle. It states that within an airflow of constant energy, Areas of lower pressure have faster moving air, and areas of higher pressure have slower moving air. There are other factors that influence how aerofoils operate, like wind speed and air density, as well as the angle of attack. The shape of the aerofoil is drastically different depending on the needs. Most commercial planes, like the 747, use swept wings, while military aircraft use delta wings specially crafted for supersonic flight. Aerofoils at this point in time are designed specifically for Earth's atmosphere, but aerofoils for the future could be designed for any atmosphere. Depending on its density and wind speed, it could look drastically different. What types of cool aerofoils could you guys see being used in the future? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe.